Hey guys, Joe here. I just replaced the master cylinder on this MG Midget, and naturally the next step is bleeding the brakes. I'm gonna show you guys the general process that you can use on your vehicle, as well as offer my top three tips to make sure it goes smoothly. Let's take a look at what we're working with. All right guys, the first thing off the bat, my number one tip is make sure you have the right tools for the job. We have one that is a kind of gun style brake bleeder. Uh, you create pressure through the gun as opposed to the pedal. And similar idea, you crack the bleed nipple, allow the pressure to pull, put the bleed nipple back, build pressure up again, repeat, 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 until you get clear fluid. Here's another really cool kit we sell. This includes three separate wrenches that these are different sizes so you can crack it open and then have another nipple to drain it. Now this kit in particular has a hose with a one-way valve so as long as you set this up properly air won't be able to get pulled back into the system and again is a great one-person solution. Also one thing to be very mindful of while you're doing this, do not let the reservoir for the master cylinder go dry. That again will pull air in from this end of the system and you'll have to start all over again. So make sure you keep it topped off with the appropriate fluid. This particular vehicle uses DOT3. Very important not to mix it up. So I got the right tools that I need. Let me demonstrate on the rear the next step. So of my two choices, I went with this bleeding kit. I'm a big fan of this, has the one-way valve built in line in the tubing so air can't get sucked back in, which eliminates the need for the uh, water trap trick, which you guys have probably seen before. Nonetheless, you need a reservoir to collect the fluid that you're drawing through the system as you purge the air. Uh, this kit, like I said, includes three different wrenches. You got eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter. Attach the right wrench, attach the hose, crack it. Now, when you go inside and pump the pedal, it's gonna be pushing air and a little bit of liquid to purge the line, and that's how you bleed the brake. So let me attach this all together, and then we'll hop in the car and start pumping the brakes. So there you have it. Brake fluid is topped off in the master cylinder, the lines are bled, and she's stopping like a dream. All in all, really simple task that you can knock out at home by yourself. So for more information, visit eastwood.com.